good ashy morning. Unfortunately, the sky is filled with smoke. It's very hazy today. You can barely see the sun and it has an orange tinge to it. And there is ash falling everywhere. Just, it looks like little bits of snow. But it's not a lot of it. It's just a, a little bit of ash. My windshield actually had a little layer of ash on it. Not only is it smoky, but it is overcast today and has been for the last couple days. And I believe it's going to be for a couple more days. Unfortunately, no sun. So with me having solar, that does me no good if I don't have any sun. So I need to find a backup generator and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to shop around and see. We're here at Walmart, so I might as well check. I've checked Walmarts before, but usually they don't carry very good generators. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe because we're here in a cloudy area that they carry. I'm really looking for an inverted generator is what I want to purchase. I did have a regular inverter, but, or I'm sorry, a regular generator, but it crapped out on me. So yeah, let's go inside and see what they have to offer. Hopefully there's an inverted one. I'm also going to check at Home Depot. That's where I really want to go to, but since I'm here at Walmart, I'm going to check first. What we do here is go back, 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 back. They do have an inverted generator right here. It's called the PowerMate. Cool. It is 1600 running watts and 2000 surge watts. And it runs 488. So it runs at 11 and a half hours on 25% load. Uh, it has a 1.2 gallon tank and three year warranty. It's the PM2000i has two plugins, a DC and a USB. That's not bad, 488. And you can also do the parallel in the kit. What do you think, Moo Moo? She's like, oh, I don't care, whatever, as long as it works. Are you sure? Uh-huh, you are? Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm pleased that Walmart had an inverted generator for less than $500. That's super cool. But I still want to go to Home Depot, which is fortunately right next door, and check and see what they have. Hopefully, they have something just as good, if not better. We'll see. We made it here to Home Depot, parked in the garden section. There is the sun right there. I mean, I can actually stare at the sun. It doesn't hurt my eyes to stare at the sun because of all the smoky haze. The sun's kind of scary looking right now. It's just like a red giant. <laughs> Mumu loves dog friendly stores, don't you? <laughs> Stretch. All right, let's get come on, Mumu. In stock, they have the Ryobi, which is the 2200. And then they have, oh, they have the Honda. Oh, it's the, although I heard about this one, I, I, I looked it up and stuff. It, they, there's one just like it, but it has a 30 amp. Oh, actually up here. They're both $9.99. Here's that one. And then there is another one up there. It's $9.99, but that one actually has the 30 amp service. Although I don't know. If I want to spend that much money, that's $1,000. I just kind of wanted something to charge my batteries. Although it would be nice if something could run my AC, but I'm not even sure if that would run the AC. I think it said it will run a 13 amp AC, but mine's actually 17 amps. So I don't even think it would run mine. It, I mean, it might for a little bit, but it would definitely struggle. So let's see. All the other ones are just regular generators. I do want the P2000 
pure sine wave inverted generators but this one here um, it's 1800 running watts that's 200 more and it's only about uh, I'd say $70 more than the other one decisions decisions I just don't know which one is better I guess I could go um, look up some reviews online before I decide okay so I wish they had the 30 amp one because I might actually decide to get that one yeah see is this one 999 yep yeah. this is a good one but these ones here are actually made for job sites they, they have two of these this one's made for job sites um, see right here it's made for like compressors, battery chargers, which I, that's what I need it for is a battery charger, bench tools, power tools, and stuff like that. This one is made for the sensitive electronics and also see an RVAC, but like I said, um, it's only, I think I looked at it, it's only for a 13 amp one and I have a 17 amp AC. So like I said, I don't really want to get it for running the AC that would be nice that would be awesome um, I really want it for our charging batteries so this is the EB series the other one is the EG series that's the one I want but they don't have that in stock I'd have to special order it and it takes over a week to get here which I don't know if I'll be here that long I could get two of these or two of the other ones and then just parallel them they would cost about the same well, the other one would be a little cheaper since it's under 500. This is over 500, so this would actually be 1100. So this would be more to do it this way. Although I would have 4400 watts and 3600 running watts, so which is a lot more than this. The gas tank is 2.1. On these, I believe the gas tank is 1.2, so I could actually carry a little bit more gas with these. The only thing though is this doesn't have a DC port. It just has the USB ports. It doesn't have the DC ports. It just has the 20 amp service and the two USBs. But you can parallel. I could always go with the EU 2000i Honda which everybody knows but it is a thousand bucks just by itself. They do have... Oh I didn't notice that one. They have the Ryobi for $5.99, which is $50 more. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> and this one actually has a monitor. You can monitor it through your smartphone. Uh, that's super cool. So I could just keep an eye on it with my smartphone. Ooh, I like technology. And that one is $50 more. Than this basic one right here. Huh. And actually, the starting watts on that one is also 2300, but it's still 1800 running watts. This also does remind me of the Generac, which I did want because it has an electronic gas gauge on it, which I think is super awesome. But also, this one's much better. Um, the Generac is $799 for one like this. Well, actually, it's only $2000. And this one is at 55 dBA to 68. Well, I think I've decided on which one I want to get. I think I'm going to go the more expensive route. Yes, I could go the cheaper route, but you know, they say sometimes you pay for what you get. And in this case, I think it's true. I mean, they're both generators inverted and they probably will do the same thing. Although, you know, for a little over $100 more, I can get a monitoring system, which is awesome. I don't even have to get out of my RV because it's Bluetooth capable and I could just check on it through my device, which I think is worth the price. So I love, <laughs> love, love, love technology. <laughs> yes, I'm a technology freak. So yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Ryobi. Um, 
They don't have one here, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to drive 11 miles. Ooh, that's not that bad. <laughs> to another Home Depot, which is in Silverdale. Yeah, so let's go to Silverdale and pick up the new gen. I'm so excited. But yeah, it is around, it's a little after 6 o'clock. And it looks like it's getting ready to be nightfall, almost 9 o'clock. Because it's just so smoky and cloudy. This is ridiculous. But I'm going to want the generator for other purposes too. Because actually when I visit Texas, it's cloudy there too. So I'm just going to need it. That's the bad thing about solar. Is it just doesn't work well in the shade. Or in cloudy days. Or here in Washington where it's smoky. So yeah. Alright, let's get on the road. Onward bound. Yay! <laughs> We made it here. They're holding it for me because we called ahead and they said they would hold it till I got here. So awesome. All I had to do is go in and pay for it. Open sesame. Ah, oh, it's magic. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. And this is your new home. I got it out. Go ahead and save the box just in case I need to return it. Oh, it's not that heavy at all, actually. Once you get it out of the box, here are the tools for it. So it fits in perfect with room to spare. I'm going to put some oil in it now. So this is how you get in, which is fairly easy. You don't need no tools, which is nice. Yeah, there it is. All right, cool. And there's where I put in the oil. So I'm going to fill, oh, it has oil in it. Weird. Okay. I guess they put oil in the factory. Yeah. Has oil in it already. So I double checked the oil. I wiped off the gauge. I guess there is a little bit of oil in there, but once I dried off the gauge and put it back in, it didn't re register anything. But I know there's a little bit of oil in there, which is awesome. So that means the company pre-lubed this engine, which is unusual. They usually don't do that. So it's super cool they did that, and I don't have to worry about doing that. I will still pull this a couple times just to make sure everything is lubricated before I put any gas in. Alright, like I said, I'm going to pull this a couple times. Just to make sure everything is lubricated, I'm going to put the camera down for this. All 
right, all closed up and ready for me to go to the gas station and get some gas. All right, I have the battery charger plugged in and charging. But yeah, that's like super quiet. <laughs> 